the head-to-head -head count criterion talking about a voting system's fairness. Now, when we talk about the head-to-head -head criterion, it's also known as the Condorcet criterion. And the basic idea is if every candidate is compared to every other candidate and one candidate wins every one of its head-to-head -head matchups, well, that candidate should be the winner because they beat everybody else. And if this winner exists, that candidate is called the Condorcet winner. So the voting systems, talk about the four different voting systems with the head-to-head -head criterion. Now, the pairwise comparison method will always meet the head-to-head -head criterion because the pairwise is when we're actually comparing head-to-head -head matchups. So that's kind of the head-to-head -head criterion. Now, the plurality method, the board account method, and the plurality with elimination methods can all violate the head-to-head, -head, meaning someone could win one of these, but not necessarily win a head-to-head -head matchup. So given the preference table below, let's determine the count using the, excuse me, determine the winner using the board account method. And then let's check it out and see if the head-to-head -head criterion is violated. So first things first, let's use the board account method. So remember in this case, we have four uh, places. So the first place vote gets four points per vote. Second is three, third place gets two votes and the uh, last place finish gets one. So candidate A, after calculating receives 431 votes. Candidate B receives 390 votes. Candidate C receives 457 votes. And candidate D uh, receives 432 votes. So after we have uh, the board account voting calculated, we can see that candidate C is the winner with 457 votes uh, or points, however you want to look at that, um, using the board account method. Now, when we're comparing with the head-to-head, -head, so then we say, okay, let's head, check the head-to-head, -head, and we go A versus B. So we count up the votes where A beats B. And we can see that A beats B in the first and the third columns, 47 votes and 51 votes, where in columns two and four, B is above A. So B would win that head to head, 34 and 39 votes. Those total votes are 98 to 73. So A is the winner when compared A to B. And we go on throughout. So again, when we look at A and C, each one wins twice, but the number of votes goes to C because 51 plus 39 is 90, whereas A only received 81 votes. So when we check this out, we find that A has one win, C has three wins, and D has two wins. Poor B doesn't win any head-to-head -head matchups, even though it finishes in first place twice. So C beats A, B, and D and also wins the board account method. Therefore, this particular election does not violate the head-to-head -head criterion because the winner of the board account method is also the winner in the head-to-head -head matchups.